The first half of 2018 has been a busy period for construction companies who have continued to transform the Middle East with major urban development projects. But what has stood out so far this year? You're watching Construction Week in Focus and joining me for a country by country review of the major projects is Neha Bhatia. Neha, so what have been the, uh, the key bits of progress so far in the Middle East? Um, we've seen progress on a macro and micro level in the regional construction sector. Um, on a more large scale uh, view, there's been progress on projects across the, across the region and especially in the Gulf. Uh, for instance, the Jeddah Tower in Saudi mm -hmm. Arabia has reported progress this year. There was the Baraka project as well in the UAE. Um, in Kuwait, we've seen two airports being, um, you know, two separate airports mm -hmm. reporting progress as well. There was a new one launched and the current expansion, the terminal expansion has seen some uh, major headway as well as made headway. In Oman, we saw the launch of a new airport. Um, Bahrain has a housing scheme underway that has also progressed. So lots happening in the first half. Lots happening in the first half. And like you mentioned, you had the, the Muscat International Airport, the Kuwait International Airport, of course, Jeddah as well, the Jeddah Tower, really important po project, and the Baraka Nuclear Plant, you know, the UAE's first nuclear energy facility. So lots of really exciting projects as well. But drilling down into some of the, the, the micro trends, what, can we, what are we seeing emerging? Um, we're seeing a change in the way that contractors are building these projects. So it's not just the fact that a project like Baraka or Jeddah Tower are new to the region in terms of just their utility and also the construction practices, but it's, I think, driving a change in the way that contractors, consultants are working on these schemes. We're seeing a lot of technology coming into the, the regional construction sector. BIM is not an exception anymore. Mm -hmm. It has become a very common occurrence on these major schemes. Um, and we're also seeing, in some ways, a preference for cash management software, which I think sort of underlines how companies are understanding the, the significance of cash flow management and how they can do it better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's clearly a positive step for the industry, greater adoption of technology, not just to enhance the way in which they actually physically manage the building of a project, but actually manage the, the back end, manage that cash flow management as well. So it seems like there's a lot of momentum building in the industry at the moment then. So thank you very much, Neha. Well, you've been watching Construction Week in Focus. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share the video if you liked it as well. Don't forget that we publish new episodes every Tuesday at 9am. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.